don't see line yet, so all is good. Oh, I see a zebra! A zebra! Right there. Oh, it's quite far. But I see one. Okay, let's go. Bye! Take care, have a safe trip! You too! Right. It is a busy morning in town, as you can see. So I am riding 320 kilometers today, so it's a fair distance, quite a bit will be unpaved, but the main thing is, so today I am riding to Itosha Heights, uh, which is a private game reserve, and uh, I am just so excited about today because I'm going to ride through, well, a game reserve which has lion, elephant, all the big game, rhino, and I'm just going to ride through there on my savannah. So, well, if that isn't exciting, then uh, I don't know what is. But uh, first I have to get there. Let's hope it will be a nice ride. But I'm sure it will be. So it's from here to the next uh, petrol station is 240 kilometers. So what I'll do is I'll fill up here fill up my main tank and one of my extra fuel bladders and then that should be enough to make it to the next petrol station and then I'll just uh, fill up from there hi morning um, 95 please full Yeah, that's enough. Stop, stop, yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go. D3709 Let's hit the dirt I gotta say this type of bushland or woodland is a lot more tricky to ride through than when you're riding through the open plains because just before some small antelope just ran across the road super fast and well you just can't see them coming with all these shrubs here so I just try to ride a little bit in the middle of the road to uh, hopefully not have a collision with some animal Okay, you can go. <laughs> Moro! Right, I have reached a paved road again, the C35, which I will follow for a little bit until I hit the uh, dirt again. Come and jump. That's where I'm going. Let 
me just uh, get off the road here. This is the western border of the Itosha National Park. But this is where most of the wildlife of Namibia is in this national park. It is huge and it is not allowed for motorcycles to go in. So that's why I'm super happy that where I'm going today is, well, it borders the Itosha National Park. And pretty much all the animals that you can find in this national park, you can also find in that uh, game reserve. And they actually patrol on motorcycles there. So I can enter on Savannah. So that is just super, super exciting. But until I reach there, I'll still be riding past the border here of the Itosha. Ah, this is uh, this animal disease control point again. Yes. <laughs> How are you? Good, are you? Where to? Sorry? Where are you heading to? To Itosha Heights. From? From Opuwal. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Have a good day. Take me along. Sorry? Take me along. Take me along. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Not sure what he said. <laughs> can't hear anything with these masks but I think I'm good to go so such a different different landscape than from up north well first of all there's grass everywhere and so there must have been here there must have been some rainfall but there's a lot more grass here than where I was uh, just before and just different vegetation everything I have uh, 76 kilometers to go. So. Itosha Heights, Namibia. Getting closer and closer. This is just a cattle gate. Mark 2. Alsjeblieft. That means close again, please. No problem. Donkeys and cows. Hi, donkeys. I think I'm at the first gate. Now. Yes. Itosha Heights Private Reserve. I'm here. Hi. Good afternoon. Yeah, how are you, man? Yeah. Ah, but I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know my license plate number. Oh. <laughs> Did that brew? Oh yeah. Eight seven? Mm. Oh GP. GP. Yeah, okay. Almost knew it. <laughs> okay. Mm. Thanks. We are driving straight uh -huh. to the elective gate. If you are if you are going to until the elective gate, there's a cut. Okay, yes, I'll wait there. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I'm in. I'm in. So, this is the first 15,000 hectares. This is the small part of the park. And then I will soon come to another gate and that is 50,000 hectares big. So that's the large part of the 
of the park and this used to all be part of the Itasha National Park but then in the late 50s it was all fenced off and sold as cattle farms so some of these farms are still here that I passed on the way but in uh, 1999 the current owners of the reserve they bought two farms and they kept on extending it and uh, I think eight years ago they bought the ninth farm and they've removed all the internal fencing and they've started to rehabilitate it and um, bring the animals back so in the early 2000s they've been also bringing the rhino back so there's black rhino here this white rhino and uh, well a whole lot of other wildlife so actually where, where I'm riding now this is already the park so there are animals here but the majority of the animals will be after the second gate um, there's, there's somebody who's going to pick me up there to show me the way but I could already see animals here if I'm lucky so I keep my eyes peeled what an incredible place it's one of the largest private game reserves in Namibia ah, this is the second gate So from here there's going to be a lot more animals, so I'll just wait here, somebody will come and fetch me, so I get a little bit of an escort, <laughs> which might not be such a bad idea. I think there he already is, maybe. Hello. Hi! Hello. Good, are you? you good? Ah. Oh, I could have... Oh. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Hi. I'm Graven. What's your name? Graven. Hi, Noralee. <laughs> nice to meet you. So I'll just be behind this, okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. So just be happy, yeah? Follow this road. This road. Well, these are elephant droppings. Surely, don't see line yet, so all is good. Oh, I see a zebra, a zebra, right there. Oh, it's quite far, but I see one. <laughs> That's my first zebra. Oh, there's another one. See there. Oh. Oh, there's a whole group of them. <laughs> I almost missed them. There's like, I don't know, 30 or so. Okay, I'm going steep, steep. Up the hill. Okay, you have to see where I am staying. Okay, look, Savannah is right here. And then this is my room. I have the most amazing view. There on the water hole, and there are three bull elephants right here at the water hole. So if that isn't an amazing view, then I don't know what is. And actually, this is maybe even the coolest feature on the entire place. Look, this is the shower, so I can shower inside, but I can also decide to shower right here outside and look at the elephants there at the water hole. Oh, this is such an amazing place and well, I cannot wait for tomorrow because tomorrow I'll be riding Savannah the whole day through the reserve and well, looking at the amount of animals that I already saw on this short stretch here, uh, it's going to be a fantastic day I think tomorrow. Before I forget, I promise to show you on the map um, what I did. So I started this morning from Opuo over here and then what did I do? I rode like this, I think. I'm actually not sure. Somehow, yeah, and then I rode here along the western side of Itosha. Then I went down here to Common Job. And then I went uh, something, something like that. So I'm now 
in Etosha Heights, just south here of the Etosha National Park. Before I end the video, I am going to go to that uh, hide, that little building over there. I can just walk there, and then from there I can have a really close view on the animals there. Yeah, I see them. <gasps> I see the two lines. They're they're now running off on the one side. I just saw their backs. Yeah, oh I see it. I saw a tail. This is crazy.